Hello everybody, welcome back to Simple Art for Adults. My name is Erin and I am here with you today by request with some gifts I received from my wonderful boyfriend. Um, today in the mail I received Joanna Bassard's 16 month weekly coloring planner and I also received her daily calendar in the keepsake box that has a coloring page for every single day of the year in 2018 and I am just absolutely stoked to have this. The images are beautiful. They're like, I believe they're little excerpts if I can speak from her books that she has out. I'm, I can't be certain of that because I don't have all of her books. But um, yeah, so um, I shared this in one of my uh, coloring groups today in Johanna Bassford, your pages if you haven't seen that group yet and you're a Johanna Bassford fan then that is definitely the place for you there are some wonderful people in there um, a few of the ladies do some really excellent tutorials so that's certainly somewhere that you will want to be um, it was requested that I do a flip through and I, of course I can't flip through all 364 or 5 sheets of paper in the box um, but I will go through and show you some of them the planner is a 16 month weekly coloring planner with a sheet to color every single week it goes from September 2017 to December 2018, so of course I'm already missing a few of the uh, a few of the weeks, but um, that's okay. I'll I'll get back to them. I promise. So you have the pretty image, uh, the pretty title page. I think a lot of the holidays listed in here are like New Zealand and Australian holidays, and that's okay with me too. There's like holidays from everywhere in here: UK, uh, New Zealand, Australia. So this is the image for, sorry about that, this is the image for August and September, or the end of August, the start of September, the first week. Then we have this image. If you really wanted to get creative, like you could color the little leaves to match whatever color scheme you choose for over here. You have plenty of room on the side to write down appointments and reminders for the day. I'm a written planner girl myself. Um, I've tried to use digital calendars like Outlook. I do work from home and I'm familiar with Microsoft Office, but to be honest, I hate digital calendars. I need to see it on paper. I need to write it down if I'm going to remember it. So this is perfect for me. I'm taking a drink of my coffee while I flip here. And this is new, so some of the pages may be a little stuck. Not quite caught up yet. This is going to be something like this is going to be interesting. I color when I wake up in the morning. So when I first wake up, I get my cup of coffee and I sit down and I turn on any YouTube videos I missed from my favorites from the day before and I'll color. And that's what I do for about an hour before I do anything else in the morning. And, um, it helps me wake up. It helps me start my day off on the right foot. So these images that you get to color, you know, across the entire week and then the ones in the box that you color every day, it's just, it made my day. I was so happy. I think I squealed a little with delight. I'm coloring the image on the other side of this, which is why there's cardstock in there. <coughs> this is the one I've started on for this week. These are my things I've written down so far for this week, which is as far as I've gotten. I'm doing this image with these. Just the regular Faber-Castell Faber color grip. I have a 24 set. So cute. There's another patterny one. bugs. Kind of strange for November because we're hoping here in southern Indiana where I live that by the end of November all the bugs have gone. <laughs> I really like this image a lot. For December she's got a snowflake from uh, her Christmas book. Th 
These you could color almost like poinsettias if you wanted to. And a reindeer. And the sleigh full of gifts for the week of Christmas Day. Another floral pattern. That's going to be a fun one. That's so tiny. And I tried a pen in this in the back and it does show through on the other side. So you may want to avoid uh, gel pens on this just to let you know. Gel pens and markers are probably going to be a no-no. Unless, unless like if, if you're finished with this week or whatever, you can put cardstock back there and then color over it. If you don't care what happens to this page, then it won't matter. My dogs are barking at each other, if you can hear them. Oh, look at the romantic seahorses for February. And the heart, of course, for the week of Valentine's Day. Which also happens to be Ash Wednesday this year. I would not know that had it not been for the planner. Or next year, I should say. I love this picture. And there's the hippo in the pond. Another underwater scene. Probably get into some springtime images now. This always reminded me of like a bunny, bunny rabbit wedding. I like it. It's cute. So it's uh, Easter Sunday. So that's why you have the bunnies. So pretty. And then the butterfly. This is gorgeous too. I'm excited to get to April next year. <laughs> I like this the little owls peeking out. Adorable. These pages are nice for colored pencil. They're kind of smooth, but they're just a little bit toothy. So your colored pencils are going to do well on them. Like I said, I'm just using the cheap uh, Faber Castell color grip, and they're doing a good job. So. So for those of you who colored this page in the original book, here it is again. <laughs> I've seen some really lovely renditions of that page. The pages are loud turning through this binder. I hope that noise doesn't irritate you. They like squeak going around the rings. That's pretty too, the anchor in the middle. I like a lot of these images. It's like they're some of them are almost perfect for coloring just a couple minutes a day and finishing them in a week. Other ones are, I don't know, some of them are a little bit intricate. You're gonna have to put in some extra work that week, I think. That's really pretty. The left side of the topiary page in um, Secret Garden.
That one's going to be incredibly crazy to color with pencils, but I'm going to try. So many acorns and leaves. That one's going to be really crazy intricate also. I really am developing an, uh, like a really deep appreciation for scenes like this. With the, you know, the little building and then the, the uh, foliage and stuff. I really do like them. It's kind of a Halloween-y image. That's precious. There's some poinsettias. I've colored this one with polychromos. I really enjoyed it. Another Christmas image for Christmas in 2018. And now we're into January 2019. And now at the back you have um, for 2019. So um, I'm assuming what the, the reason that she did this is like if it gets toward the end of the year and you have doctor's appointments to schedule out, you can write them down here, and then when we all go and order Joanna Basford's 2019 weekly planner, we'll have all that information available to us. We also have the full calendar for 2017 and 2019. We have pages for notes, several pages for notes, things that you'd like to write down. And then we have me testing my page, writing a friend's name. The end. There's your coloring test pages. And if I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll see if you can tell. See, can you see through the paper? Oh, let me put it in a frame. You can see it through the paper. So I'd be careful with gel pens because that's a purple gel pen. And that is the Johanna Basford uh, 2018 calendar. Or planner, I'm sorry. This is a calendar. This is heavy. Um, the little box that comes in is sturdy. So it's not it's not a little flimsy box by any means. It's a nice, thick, sturdy box. The lid opens up and it's held in place by these little ribbons. You have another little ribbon here to help you lift your pages out. Each day of the year has a card. And this is relatively thin paper, so you're probably, it is single-sided, so you can use whatever you want on it, but you just keep in mind that it is very thin paper, so extremely wet mediums probably aren't going to be a very good idea. Um, obviously, I can't show you all of these, so what I'm going to do is just, we'll go through randomly, and I'll show you some random dates. Of course, Anne, I had to go right straight to the peacock. I promised that was 100% completely random, and I did not do that on purpose. That is pretty funny though. Your butterfly. I'm just grabbing stacks at random guys just to show you what's in here. And remember there's one of these for every single day. So you have something fresh and new from Johanna Basser to color every single day of the year, which is fabulous. I love it. I'm very, very excited. And now that's something else to point out. Saturdays and Sundays share a page. So you'll notice you'll have one page for the weekend. So there's a good place for you to catch up on your planner coloring if you're behind. Trying to keep them straight because they're going to be a pain to get back in this box if I don't. 
I pull that I flipped a lot of fish, haven't I? There's that gorgeous fox. I've seen him three times tonight. Another fish. I'm just good at finding a fish, I suppose. A starfish, does that count as fish too? Hey, look, I found some leaves. There's some bugs in there, or a bug in there. Flowers, I love coloring flowers and leaves. It's very cute, it looks regal. It's like a regal owl. So now we've got, I'm kind of curious to see whether as you get toward the holidays, let me see if I can pick them up out of here. There's like a sheet down the bottom. It's got Johanna Basford's name and copyright information and stuff. So I just put that down the bottom. Actually, let's do this. So, I'm kind of curious to see whether, when she gets a Christmas, if she's got Christmas pages. There's the 12th. Oh, that, look, there's the weekend of the 15th, 16th. There's the reindeer again. They're probably going to be scattered because not everybody celebrates Christmas. And not everybody celebrates Christmas in the same way. So she's probably going to have some in here, but, you know, of course, not the entire month of December. Christmas Eve is the sleigh, and Christmas Day is the Christmas tree. And then on the 26th, she's got ornaments. Very, very cute. Just absolutely adorable. Oh, and there's coloring test pages in here as well. Just, so there's several there are one there's like five or six here so you can test your colors and that is the daily calendar so you quite literally like I said you'll have something from Johanna Bassard to color every single day I think it would be cute for all of us to have these and kind of share our birthday images what they are. I'll do mine when I get to it. I'll start sharing these in the in the group, in the Johanna Bass for Your Pages group as I finish them. So that's going to be like at least one post a day. So whether or not I actually finish one every day, I don't know because you know you have some days where you just don't really feel like coloring. But those days are few and far between for me. All right guys, there you have it. There is the Johanna Bassford 16 month weekly coloring planner. And here is the um, daily calendar coloring sheet. So if you guys are interested, these are both available through Amazon. They are both relatively inexpensive. I believe they were between 10 and $12 US a piece. Um, my boyfriend said that he got them both for right at $20 um, and had them sent to me and it was a surprise for me today. So I was so excited. I've also, sorry I had to take a drink. I've also been asked in um, groups to do tutorials on some of Johanna's um, coloring books. And I was going to pick up another copy of Inky Ivy to do it in that book, but when I was out today I found a copy of um, Secret Garden, and I didn't have Secret Garden, I've never colored it before. So I got it instead. So I'm going to be flipping through that for a while and trying to see if there's something in there that I'd like to do, um, and if I choose something then I will definitely record a tutorial for that. If any of you guys are new to my channel, I do post videos regularly. They're not always about Johanna Bassford. I color lots of different things. I color in romantic country and all kinds of different things. Um, so feel free to subscribe if you haven't. If you want to be notified when I post new content, click the little bell next to subscribe. Um, the best thing you can do to help me is like this video. So that's going to help more people see it. And that's all I have for you today, guys. I really do appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to spend with me and to watch this flip through. Um, and if you have any other requests for any other content, please just let me know. I'd be happy to get it for you. Thanks. Have a good night.